In this lesson, we'll begin a review of Math Test 7, Section 3, you know, Calculator, Questions 1 through 4. This is the beginning of a new math section. We know the questions will get progressively harder until the grid ends and then reset. And so these early questions take advantage of these, work efficiently and accurately. Question 1. The equation above relates the number of minutes x Maria spends running each day and the number of minutes y she spends biking each day. In the equation, what does the number 75 represent? And so we know that x is the number of minutes running each day. We know y is the number of minutes biking, and the total is 75. This is just the total number of minutes she spends running and biking each day. The answer is C. All right, let's take a look at question number two. Which of the following is equivalent to this equation? Again, early on, straightforward question. We're going to distribute the 3. We get 3x plus 15 minus 6. And then we combine these terms. 15 minus 6 is 9. And we get 3x plus 9. That's it. The answer here is C. All right, let's return back to question number 3. Here we have two equations. Which ordered pair x, y satisfies the system of equations above? There's a couple ways to do this. In this case, I would use substitution. You can also use elimination. It makes it a little trickier with the fraction here. But what I would do is express with substitution one of the variables in terms of the other. And so here, for 2y, what you can do is isolate y. So what we can do is just add 3 to both sides. So we can say that y equals x plus 3. And then for this equation, this is y in terms of x. We plug it in here and then we're only dealing with x's. And so now we get x over two plus, this is two times the quantity y, which is x plus three equals six. And now we distribute this out, we get x over two plus two x plus six equals six. Now the sixes you'll see are just cancel out. And so now we're only left with x's. At this point, you should be able to recognize we're only, we don't have any constants with numbers here, x is going to be 0. You could multiply this out by 2 just to get rid of this 2 on the bottom. If we multiply this whole equation by 2, we get x plus 4x. 2 times 0 is still 0. We get 5x equals 0. Again, you don't really have to do this, but we should recognize that x is 0. Now, if you're really confident in this, if you look at the choices, there's only one x value at 0. If there were two, You'd have to plug it in to confirm. If you want, you can confirm the y. But if you're really con confirmed or you're very convinced that you did this correctly, I would just move on and pick B. But let's just do it for the sake of just to be thorough. And so we know that x equals 0. Either one of these equations will work because this is a solution where these two lines will meet. And so we'll just take this one on the top. It's a little bit easier. We're going to plug in a 0. Here's the equation when we re-expressed it and we see that y equals 3 and that does confirm it. And so the answer is B for number 3 and one last question on this page it is number 4. Which of the following complex numbers is equal to this equation for i equals the square root of negative 1? There will be some questions on i 1 or 2. Keep in mind i is the square root of negative 1. They'll always give this but what you really want to keep in mind is that i squared so that's going to be the square root of negative 1 squared i squared equals negative 1. Just remember this. This is going to be helpful for these. We'll also see problems where you have to find the conjugate, and it's almost always going to be i squared equals negative 1. And so let's multiply this out, and we get 5 plus 12i. We get minus 9i squared. And here we have minus a minus, so that's going to be plus 6i. All right. So here's what I was mentioning earlier. I squared, whenever you see an I squared, plug in negative 1. And so here we have a negative 1 times a negative 9. This becomes plus 9. And then we can just combine all the other terms. Here's a 4. We can add 4 or a 5 plus 9. We get 14. And so these two together are 14. And then we can combine the I's. 12i plus 6i. That's 18i. And that is the answer. Thank you.